So allow me to introduce Andrea Adams Miller. Give on the old razzle dazzle, razzle dazzle um. Now, if you have heard about publicity and wondered what publicity is, you've probably heard that, that publicity is all about giving them the old razzle dazzle and spinning the news in such a way that it just really increases the readability and the viewership of what's going on in the world. Well, certainly, uh, universally, <laughs> we find out that the publicity often is spun in such an interesting way that it puts out negative messages. Well, one of the things I like to do is the opposite of that, is I love to meet wonderful people in the world who have positive, wonderful, uplifting messages that create wonderful things in the world. So let me give you an example. Now, some of the things that you've been hearing in the world is all the negative of maybe war and the uh, election and, you know, different things like that and different voting rights and different people moving from country to another. And if we only focus on that negativity, then when we lose is the message that all of you have, which is this hope, inspiration, a valuable message that means something that will change the world of the everyone, not just all massively, but individually one at a time. So your world changes, your world changes, and so does yours back there. So let me ask you this. How many of you have a message that is so big and so important that you would just be thrilled to death if the whole world knew about it? Really? Well, I'd love to hear about it. And what I'd love to do is to take that message and help the whole world hear about it too. So this is how you do it. So it's through the red carpet connection. And the red of that, the red, is relevance, enthusiasm, and delivery. When you have red, you hit your target market every time. And what that means is your message is heard by the most prominent people who are your clients, your customers, your fans, and your followers. And what that means to you is then they invest in you and your products and your mission to carry that throughout the world. So let me tell you some different ways that you can make this happen. Now, I'm sure you've been hearing that it's really important to have other people in, in, um, to get information that's from other people, like coaches, and that you learn information from them. Well, let me tell you about Sir Anthony Hopkins. Have you guys heard about Sir Anthony Hopkins? He's done some movies over here in the Middle East as well. Well, I had the opportunity to share the stage with him, and he's a wonderful man. Oh, by the way, can I tell you guys a little secret about him, first of all? All right, so I had this opportunity. We were engaging and talking in conversation, and we were getting ready to get our picture taken together, and he goes, oh, yes, Sandria, you're the girl in the red dress. Yes, yes, the pretty girl in the red dress. And I'm like, yes, uh, thank you, Sir Anthony Hopkins. That's so nice of you. And he goes, we're standing, and my friend's going, Andrea, picture, picture, and we're posing. And he goes, yes, yes, in the red dress. <laughs> and I'm like, thanks. How, how wonderfully, wonderfully exciting and super creepy at the same time, right? Because he's Hannibal Lecter. Okay. So when he was on stage, he was sharing about how important it was for him to have coaches in his world. He not only has a voice coach. Now, this is now. This is after all the accolades and all the awards he's won. This man has a voice coach. He has a movement coach. He has a dialect coach. And he has a person who helps coach without his time management for being able to do all these movies. This man has achieved so much, and yet he still invests in coaches and mentors in his world. What can we all learn from that? How do we invest in ourselves? So I've had the wonderful opportunity not only to share the stage with men like him, but to work with the Jackson family every year. Do you guys know Michael Jackson? Yay! You know, okay. <laughs> well, every year the Jackson family has an annual celebration party, and I'm very, very honored that every year I have that opportunity to be there with the family and help honor Michael Jackson's life by all the wonderful things that they have there. And I certainly want to thank Ken Rashawn from the Umbrella Syndicate, who has been coming and helping me uh, take pictures of that wonderful event so that the family has that heart memory for the rest of their lives to create those lifetime memories. And with working people like that and having the opportunity to share messages with people like Stedman Graham, Oprah's boyfriend, you guys might have heard of him. So I've had a chance to be on stage with him too. And I share that with you because it was only through publicity that I had those opportunities to be with those great people. And each one of you can take that same opportunity by using the publicity message 
available to you. So let me give you some examples of ways that you can get more publicity. First of all, how many of you have been into a college, a certification class, a training, have taken anything at all? All right, so for those of you who didn't raise their hand, how many of you are here today? <laughs> Some of you did not raise their hand, I'm a little concerned. All right, so let me tell you, whether you have a university experience, a training experience, or you're in this room today, this is how you can use this for publicity. So what I would love for you to do to give yourself free publicity is to either contact uh, your local newspaper, maybe your trade magazine, the newspaper or newsletter at work or in your church or in your temple or wherever it is, your mosque, how they put, put out news in the world. Take that and tell them, today I was involved in a training where I had the opportunity to list a couple people, list a couple things that, you, that resonated with you and, and say that you heard them here with Speak in Dubai. Now you all became somebody very, very important because you're learning something more than the other people in your industry and that you now have your message out in the world. So with that, let me end with this. Remember, it's all about popular. It's not about aptitude. It's the way you're viewed. So instead of being unknown as you were, maybe are, maybe it's time you let me help you make you very, very popular. Lar. <laughs> Thank you.